The power of crystals. Crystals are incredibly versatile. They can be used in a wide range of ways to improve your life physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. This part of the book presents a selection of straightforward healing techniques for you to explore. The measure of how effective crystals are in your life should not be gauged by the experience of a single healing session. On some days, you may be more sensitive to the processes than on others. It's always best to have short, regular sessions and to try to fix everything all at once. Over the weeks, you'll soon begin to notice that your well-being improves, that you cope better with difficult situations, and that you feel more settled and balanced yourself. The power of crystals is used in many healing traditions. Crystals have always been considered special, extraordinary, even supernatural. With their fascinating forms and enchanting colors, nothing else on earth is like them. Ancient peoples believed that crystals had fallen from the heavens as gifts from their ancestors. This notion is not so far from the truth. All the particles that make up matter once originated within the hearts of old stars. When these stars exploded, their particles were scattered throughout the universe and reformed as new stars and planets. People who carried war or used crystals believed that they would be imbued with some of the power belonging to these spiritual realms. Religious and temporal leaders would seek out the finest gems. The general populace had no access to such rare and expensive items, but would mimic their appearance with less precious materials, hoping for some benefit. In ancient Egypt, for example, the pharaoh and his priesthood prized turquoise as a symbol of fertility, life, and joy, while the people imitated this stone with amulets of blue glass. In this way, the two main areas of crystals were used and defined. As a means to display earthly status and as a focus for magical and healing energies. These two strands persist to this day. It can be noted that found on a mummy of the pharaoh Tutankhamun from 1336 to 1327 BC, there is a gold pectoral ornament which contained lapis lazuli, calcite, and turquoise. So from ancient to modern, the healing traditions of crystals have always been used. The forms of crystal healing that are in use today arose in the alternative cultures of the 1970s and 80s. But like many complementary systems, they have been developed out of old cultural traditions. The idea that every stone has special magical properties can be traced back through European literature of the early Middle Ages to their sources in Greek, Roman, and Arabic philosophy, which in turn owe much to the Ayurvedic traditions of India. Modern crystal healers initially focused very much on the properties of rock crystal, clear quartz. Traditionally, crystals of quartz have been highly valued by healers around the world for their ability to connect with spirit, worlds to reveal and diagnose illness and to allow a shaman or healer to remove the causes of disease. The use of crystals, crystal mares, and crystal bowls for divination is simply a continuation of this long tradition. These mystical ways of using crystals are usually dismissed by modern science as mere superstition, and yet science recognizes the unique and often very strange properties of minerals and crystals. Making use of their characteristics in everything from wristwatches, quartz, automobile spark plugs, pyonite, medical lasers, ruby, and space shuttle windows, sapphire. The pragmatic and metaphysical views of the crystal world may seem to be mutually exclusive. However, both approaches are valuable. One provides useful tools and technologies, while the other enables us to see beyond the here and now into the realm of imagination and potential. If we only pay attention to one of these sides of our natures, we miss out on a wealth of experience. Both are necessary to keep us whole and healthy. Crystal healing can restore fundamental balance to our existence. Now, it is known that crystals have their function based on their color, and the power of crystals cannot be fully appreciated without taking their color into account. Qualities like chemical makeup, structure, shape, 
Hard disk, in luster, focus the energies of crystals in certain ways. But color is the key to how a crystal heals. We appreciate color as an adornment, forgetting that it represents a real force, the level of energy and light. This energy stimulates the brain, altering the way we think and feel, as well as our physical well-being. Our reaction to color is instinctive and cannot be controlled, but if we learn the effects of each color, we will begin to understand why we are drawn to some stones more than others, which will help us to choose the right crystal for every situation. Many crystals appear in more than one color. This is because some samples may contain a few extra atoms of an uncharacteristic element that slightly distorts the internal lattice and changes the color we perceive. Gem experts discover the true color of a crystal by a streak test. This involves scraping the crystal across an unglazed ceramic tile to leave a fine dust of particles, revealing the crystal's underlying color. The streaks of smoky quartz, violet amethyst, yellow citrine, rose quartz, and green aventurine, for example, are all gray-white, exactly the same as for clear quartz. Here are some basic color qualities of crystals. Black is associated with grounding. Brown with enabling. Red, energizing. Orange, releasing. Yellow, organizing. Green, balancing. Blue, communicating. Indigo, or deep blue, cooling. Violet, integrating. Pink, accepting. White, cleansing. Clear, clarifying. It is no question that the aura is affected by the healing traditions of crystals. All living things have an aura, an energy field that surrounds the body. The aura is made up of several layers which we cannot detect with our physical senses, but only using inner awareness. Each layer of the aura contains certain aspects of our makeup. A problem in one layer will often affect other layers until the imbalance spreads through the aura and the body it manifests as dis distress or disease. Crystal healing can quickly clear away these subtle blemishes in the same way that regular window cleaning allows maximum light to enter a room. The layers of the aura are often represented like the concentric skins of an onion. In fact, the most subtle outer layers interpenetrate all the others, and they all weave together within the physical body. Levels of the aura etheric body, closest to the physical. This acts as a blueprint for our organic body and shows imbalances just before they manifest on a physical level. The emotional body, this level is seen by psychics as swirls of color that show our ever-changing emotions. It is easily cleared and balanced by crystals. The mental body, a structure that holds our ideas, beliefs, and experiences. Stress here can lead to rigidity and prevent us from achieving our goals. The astral body, a boundary between everyday awareness and spirituality. Disorientation, fear, and paranoia are symptomatic of imbalances here. Spiritual bodies, the subtle outer levels are more difficult to define. They feed us with universal energy which helps us to reach ultimate fulfillment. The power of crystals can change this subtle body in addition to the chakras. Originating in ancient India and adopted by many alternative healing systems, including crystal healing, is the concept of the subtle body, which shares many of the principles of the aura, see page 13. Linked to, but transcending the physical body, the subtle body is scientifically undetectable network of channels. Nodes or nadis, through which flows life energy, or prana. Our physical, mental, and spiritual well-being depends on prana flowing smoothly to all parts of the subtle body. If flow becomes sluggish owing to a congested channel, or on the other hand, too vigorous, then the likely result is physical illness or mental and spiritual unease. Identifying and correcting inappropriate energy patterns helps the body to regain balance release stress, and repair damage. We can optimize the flow of prana by influencing the main receptors and distributors of life energy in the subtle body, which are known as chakras, from the Sanskrit word wheel. 
Seven principal chakras are located in a line running down the center of the body from just above the top of the head to the base of the spine. Each of these chakras governs certain physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of our being, and, when functioning well, each chakra is believed to vibrate at the frequency of one of the colors of the rainbow. See the diagram, if you purchase our book. A malfunction in one chakra affects all the others, so it is important that the whole system is in balance. Balancing chakras is at the heart of crystal healing. We can use crystals to feed each chakra with its main energetic color. At the simplest level, placing one stone of the appropriate color on each chakra for one minute will help to balance the whole system. This is by no means the only way to work with crystals and chakras, but it will be helpful in most cases. I will now outline the chakras and some general facts about them. The crown chakra, violet, just above the top of the head, has to do with integration, coherence, sense of belonging, and spiritual ease. The brow chakra, indigo, center of the forehead, sight, comprehension, perception, sense of perspective, vision, and intuition. The throat chakra, light blue, base of throat, communication, expression, energy, exchange, peace, and understanding. The heart chakra, green, center of chest, relationships, balance, space, growth, love, affinity and calmness. The solar plexus chakra, yellow, between navel and diaphragm, personal power, control, understanding, digestion, sustenance, integrity and confidence. The sacral chakra, orange, below the navel. Creativity, exploration, sensation, pleasure, sensuality, flow, repair and enjoyment. The root chakra, red, energy, motivation, groundedness, practicality, Survival needs and connection to the earth. Note, the root chakra is at the base of the spine, but is often balanced by placing a crystal between the knees or thighs. Ayurveda, or the Indian system of yoga, knows that there is power in crystals. Having existed in India for at least 2,000 years, Ayurveda, Sanskrit, science of life, is one of the world's oldest systems of medicine. A holistic tradition that integrates massage, exercise, diet, and meditation. Ayurveda accords a special role to gemstones. According to ancient texts, the light of the Creator is transmitted to Earth by the planets. Gemstones collect and then radiate this energy. If a person's well-being is affected by inharmonious influences, an Ayurvedic healer can identify which planet is responsible and prescribe the appropriate gem to wear in order to correct the disruption. The list below shows, for each Ayurvedic planet, the aspects that it represents and the principal gemstone associated with it. So here are the planet and gemstone correspondences. The Sun, male aspects, vitality, and success. The gem for this is the ruby. Jupiter, philosophy, spiritual growth, wealth, and learning. The gemstone being yellow sapphire. The Moon, feminine aspects, peace of mind, comfort, well-being, and the gem for this is the pearl. Saturn, fame, longevity, sincerity, and justice. Blue sapphire. Mercury, education, intelligence, speech, and humor. For this, we have the emerald. Rahu, the ascending node of the moon. Restlessness, worldly success, force, and selfishness. Zircon is the gem for this one. Venus, love, beauty, and art. For this one, we have the diamond. Mars, courage, confidence, physical strength. For this, we have coral. Ketu, the descending node of the moon. Passivity, spirituality, non attachment, and selflessness. The cat's eye, Chris Overill. Did you enjoy this video? This is video one of our series on crystal healing. Next video, we will talk about birthstones and even more fun facts about crystals. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. There's a lot more to come, and check out our website, www.activatemaxpotential.com, where we are developing an entire crystal healing website, where we can sell gems and courses and get you a healer in your local area. Thank you for your time. Good day to you.
Namaste.